If you're gonna go flat on the panel, if you're going flat, that's a finishing technique. We're not finishing right now, we're doing defect removal beginner. This is the first thing you wanna know. I'm Jamie Gonzalez. What is this? Rotary, right? Rotary polisher, is this scary? No, it's not scary, you just need to learn. This is a quick beginner tip that you need to know right when you're getting with your rotary. I got my Lake Country wool. First thing, you're gonna center it. You want it centered on your pad, like so. I have a, I would say a kind of, a pretty deep scratch right here. I don't know if that's coming across that well in the camera. I'm gonna use some sandpaper, which I'm going really aggressive. It's gonna be a 1500 grit, but with the rotary, it's gonna level out really nice. I know, watch. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick sand on there just to knock down the high edges. That's a different video. So now, compound, this is a quick trick to picking it up. So I'm using quite a bit on that first, the first dab because I need to primer my pad. I don't wanna primer it in, I wanna primer it with my motion of the actual polisher. So you could just applicate it, go ahead and primer it in, get it in those fibers, but I like to go and I wanna use it in the direction. I want that compound in the direction of my fibers, that way it can naturally just absorb into the actual pad. So okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have it on one. I'm not gonna use a lot of pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and start. And if it automatically if it starts doing that and wobbling, it's just not completely level. So I'm gonna retake that off and make sure it's 100% level. You want it really, really smooth. Okay, so again, flat, turn it up a little bit, crank it on there. You notice, right when I did that, I didn't just shoot a bunch of compound all over the place. It all stayed on my pad. Look at that, look at the trace of that. It's, it's evenly distributed, it's on the machine, you got it, they, it's gonna naturally get into those fibers. If you want, you can go ahead and blow it out and add a spritz of water, but this is just straight on. Okay, I'm going flat. I have a slight level. I'm slightly, maybe 90 degrees, barely, barely tilting. And I'm gonna go over it, kind of like a Zamboni. If you ever, or not a Zamboni, if you ever clean floors, you just wanna go over it nice and slow, back and forth, you glide over the actual panel. So I'm gliding over the panel, 50-50 passes down, and as you know, I chose a direction, I'm not going up and down. Choose the direction you wanna go and stick with it. So I'm just slightly gliding over the paint, low pressure, nothing going. If you do wanna go, you can add a little bit more pressure if you feel like the defect's you know, pretty deep, but there's no need for that, just light pressure, Glide over the pat, uh, over the paint. Nice, nice, smooth, a smooth fill. So the way to get that flat, so if you're on the paint like this, you don't wanna be like this on the edge unless you're doing actually edge work. You wanna just kindly, slightly give that little angle on there and then flow. If you're gonna go flat on the panel, if you're going flat, that you're, that's a finishing technique. We're not finishing right now, we're doing defect removal beginner. This is the first thing you wanna to know to get the actual defect out. So yeah, that's how we do it. Let's go ahead and wipe this down and look and see if we got it, how, how much we got out of that scratch. It's pretty good. So you can slightly still see it, but rule of thumb, if you can grab it by your fingernail, it's not gonna come out. But yep, that's the way. Nice, slow, slight angle, defect removal, beginner rotary polishing. Okay, so now what you did is on speed one, getting the actual defect out, learning how to control your tool. You've done that, you know how to do that, right? Okay, so now I, got the, I actually got my damage out Another thing too, it's never bad to have a clean pad. I don't even really need to add any more compound on there because when I polish it, it's already primer, there's good on there. If you fill moisture, you know, you're good. 
tap it on those little, your face, little, feel the moisture. So then after you got the scratch out or you, you got your scratch out and you created a divot and your, your sand marks, you've seen those, you're just gonna wanna make an even pass across your whole pat and that's just to make the next step easier. So you wanna create an even pass, even form across the whole thing because you don't wanna have all these different rotary tracks like that. If most people see if you drive in the parking lot and you look, they're just, people just got the tool and went crazy and they didn't finish, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a quick, even pass across this whole panel. Nice and slow, nothing fast, just straight speed, control my tool. I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna keep a little bit flatter on the surface. Like I said, this is, now you're, you're, you're still gonna create the even pass. You're not finishing. You're still using your, you're still cutting. There's still your cutting process. So again, let's check this out. Nice and steady. Flat, smooth, it's all easy, it's easy. I, I ramped it up, I'm doing like more of a speed two, speed three, so I am going a little bit faster. Just guiding and gliding on the paint. Another, uh, another trick too, so you see how you have, versus switching out and getting a different tool, you don't need to. Learn this, learn this tool. If you have these different body lines, a little bit more compound on there. You wanna learn how to keep your tool flat in different areas. Like if you're gonna do this area, you're gonna wanna keep it flat. I don't know if you guys ever did clay, like molding clay or anything like that. You got these flat angles. So flat here, flat here, tilt with the direction of the pad. So you don't wanna tilt this way. If you tilt the opposite direction, it's gonna be pulling you. You wanna tilt with it and glide with the actual pad. That's how you wanna start using the rotary until you level up and do the next level. All right guys, so what is that? That's the rotary tracks, right? I created that, but look at my even pattern. How you see that? The patterns in that, though, that's an even pattern. If I didn't do that final step that I just did, to make the plans even, you'd see all these, you know, you'd see different directions. So all what I did is I created that next step for me with my rotary is gonna be that much easier. So now let's move on to the next step to remove those tracks. This is the important part, but this, this first before was your working part. You did the work. Now what you gotta do is you wanna bring back that finish of the paint, remove those swirls, this is the easy part. It's not easy, but it's gonna take time. This takes a little bit more time. New polisher, bang, 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 bang. You know, we got that. We got the ammo um, exfoliating uh, liquid. Same thing, you wanna prime your pad every time. Shake it up well, boom, boom, boom. You want that nice and shake. All I'm doing is light pressure. I'm removing my swirls. That's it. Same thing, you probably just want to do maybe three passes, lower speed. Lower arm speed, everything's lower on it. You can go up and down if you want. If you want to go up and down, you can do that. But I don't, I don't feel like there's really a need to do that. You can, whatever you feel like. I don't do that. Okay, so now we just ran over it took out our swirls that we just put in. Nice and soft, nothing easy, nothing crazy. Like I said, I'm not taking, I'm not correcting the paint, I'm just taking, I'm just doing the next step. So, there you go. Now your swirls are gone. The swirls are gone that I just put in from my rotary, no rotary tracks. 
know, there's still these deeper scratches that aren't gonna come out. Um, but like I said, we're just taking out the rotary tracks for, for now. When you're, when you're coming off and you're regularly finishing out the paint and you're getting out all your defects and scratches, it's easiest to use your rotary because you can eliminate all the defects without using this. And then you just come to this for a polishing. So what I did was that spot, that one scratch that I wet sanded, I just got that out and now I'm just gonna go ahead and make everything just look a lot better. But if you wanted to make this panel perfect, I would just, you could just figure out, do your test spots, see what's gonna make it a softer, hard paint, you can do that, but we're just doing a rotary on everything. just run a light over this to the bumper, to the other fender to see the difference on clarity. Look at that, clarity's crazy. Practice, all it does is take practice. Utilize your tools, level up your game. Rotary's that, that's that next tool. I'm Jamie, I'm a born detailer, baby. You better understand, Salt Lake City in the house, peace.